And Madam Chair, I'm, I'm, I'm done with my question. Thank you, Ms. Winfrey Carter. Okay, um, Kate Fields again. I, I really just have one question, uh, and this is for uh, Angela Wheeler. Not counting the time involved in your salary and Bill Kim's salary, okay, uh, how much have we, the taxpayers, how much have we <clears throat> spent defending these lawsuits in law in legal costs? Can you give me an estimate? Um, uh, an estimate. It's probably. I mean, it's it's, it's all, I mean, it's at least over a million dollars that we you just spent. And and let me tell you why. Because first, you are arguing, and, and lawyers, of course, highly skilled. That there are obviously a lot of legal legal arguments at the first portion of the case. The things that are in court um, that, that can be argued before a judge. But after you get past a certain hurdle or a certain phase of the case, you're in the middle of discovery, interrogatories, um, you know, experts, there's millions and millions of documents you have to be researched and reviewed. So, uh, and it's a high level of complexity. So, what will happen is it is that the city will no longer have to pay those costs for the litigation expenses as a result of that. Those those regular expenses that we incur throughout the year, those will go away. Okay, so I, I think it's quite interesting if we look at it in the case of, you know, it's it's the residents that are suing for damages, for, for what damage is done, but it's also the residents, you know, the taxpayers, that are have to pay the cost, they have to pay the cost for defending the lawsuit. So it comes a point in time to me where it is a, uh, a no-win situation in a certain way. And um, I think that's part of the reason why we are being urged to settle on this. Because one way or another, the residents are the ones who have to pay these legal bills. And, and this is money that we have to spend in legal bills that can't necessarily be used for all of the many other problems that we have in this city. You know, blight, fire, police, on and on and on. So uh, I was curious. A million dollars we've already spent defending this. I, in my personal opinion, I think it's time to wrap this up. I, I think even the plaintiffs' attorneys have expressed that they really feel that everybody comes to the limit of the best that can be done for the residents at this point in time. So uh, I then go to uh, Mr. Davis. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to the straight point for the residents. That's all my concern is this evening. I, I like to speak to the defendant as well as the plaintiff attorney again, and mainly the, the city of Flint attorney, Ms. Willard or Mr. Bill. Um, and this is the question. On this vote on the 14th of December, what is the best interest of the homeowners and the residents of the city of Flint when it comes to voting yes or no? And it's a straightforward question. Um, this is Angela, and and I, and I truly, and and I truly believe that it is in the best interest to approve this resolution to minimize and remove a lot of the uh, um, liability. And from the city and from the taxpayers for that much and to bring and increase that pot of money that will be going to the taxpayers through the settlement so you recommend it would make more sense for the city as well as tax payers that we sign on with the insurance company and then that, that increase the settlement as well and to me that uh, makes this yeah, because a lot of people have been concerned in the community, and I've been questioning, questioning, 
especially the homeowners, they've been calling me concerned about that because they're already taxed enough. And and that makes good sense. And that's what we wanted to do with the question and answer session, session this evening while we got all these counselors on the phone. And as well, I'd like to speak to the plaintiff attorney. And I'd like a straightforward answer if possible. How could an adult, we, we see the kids who got a big percentage of this time, and truthfully, how can an adult that's not signed with no attorney or no representation at this time get on board that you know you may not have the proper documentation, but you own a rent property in the city of Flint over the course of the period of time of this lawsuit? Where would they sign up and how would an adult listen to our conversation right now if they wanted to sign up, get on board? Uh, this is Ted Leopold, uh, co-counsel for the class. And I would say that the adult that signs up now uh, can feel assured that, one, uh, the minors in the Flint community are being taken care of uh, as our first line of um, those that have been injured uh, and from a medical standpoint, probably the most serious. Number two, that they, are, they the adult, property owners of business are getting recovery. May not be all that they wanted, but they are getting a recovery. And three, that the continuation of the litigation goes on against the EPA, as well as major engineering companies with the hopes that we can get the same or more settlement. Well,
come down the road. So this to me, I'm laughing at because to me this was very good discussion and conversation. Very emotional for me. Got to eat that plan in great line syndicated and you know other people around the community as well. But I really think while y'all are getting out of time and doing what y'all have done, we will turn to all the other
Um, you might be correct. I just don't recall the number off the top of my head. Oh, I do. Two percent. Three percent. Four. Thank you, Pog. I said you may be very correct. I just don't. I don't have the paperwork right in front of me. I just want to see one. Yeah, I've been having this paperwork and looking at it and been on my calculator and knowing how many people have divided on. And I want the community to know because, in my opinion. The more people who say it's not fair, I understand the risk. We've been understanding the risk for so long, but Judge Levy and the way this thing is being presented to the community and percentages and even flyers out mixing the 3% with the 15% putting figures out there that ain't even subtracted attorney fees is very misleading to this community. And so one way or another, Thank you, Pardon. No, no, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So one way or another, my job is to get specifics out and to show people um, hard line what they are opting in or out of. And I don't want to frustrate attorneys because if attorneys have worked hard, did a good job, and they think it's time to settle, they should be sharing with us hypothetically what they think or what they're asking for. I don't know. I don't know how many attorneys, what they're looking for, and it's been discouraging to me that attorneys will just say, hey, get a new attorney. Get a new attorney. Get a new attorney. Now, will y'all, when you get a new attorney, they will be privileged to all of the things y'all done already won, correct? Because it's there. It's in the record. Well, it's part of the, it's part of the record that is correct, at least from a pleading standpoint, not experts and things of that sort. That's totally separate. But I do want to mention, I do want to comment on one thing you said that I think is very important, and I agree with you on, and I'm sure you agree with this, is knowledge is power, right? So we want to make sure we get all the information to everybody. And we're, we're endeavoring to do that. You know, this is a big process, and there's a lot of people. Um, and knowledge, until, and I'm trying to use my time wisely. Knowledge is power even when you ask attorneys specific questions in a public setting. Knowledge right. is power, and the more detailed knowledge on these settlements and the division of money, that's power to the people so they can make legitimate decisions. Now, isn't it true that Children, may I wrap up? Oh, this is ridiculous. My colleagues don't have questions. I do. I have questions coming. Is it true? Is it? May I wrap up? Is it true? Is it true that all categories of children has been said, documentation or not, they should get some type of compensation? That's a fair statement. Yes. On personal income. But that's. But that's not true for adults. Adults must have personal injury documentation, different from the kids' category, children category, uh, correct? I'm not sure that's true. I don't think that there has to be documentation the, for every category. In the 15% category, personal injury is in the 15%. Coming back for more 
I'm too in love with this shit. Plus, I came too far to quit. And it was in nine five. I got sick of niggas tripping and shit. So I started building my label sometime in nine six. Adjust the levels on my mic so it's loud and clear. This is something that I want the whole world to hear. Seven. I'm tired of niggas playing sales on the industry. The music ain't shit. Personally, it's a sin to me. The cops beating on you. You have a choice. Violence to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Turn the other cheek or wait for the news cameras to come and talk about it. Black cops. I passed. Yeah, you passed. Yeah, you passed. Yeah, you passed. Yeah, you passed. Mr. David. Thank you, uh, indulging, Madam Chair. Uh, I'm good, but I, I just want to make this quick statement. Talk to this is a public record. Think it's a game? Residential, and I don't know if it's in my mouth, but the homeowners especially. Get out of your pocket and sit down. Now, sit down. Sit. Down. sit. Sunday, do it all again on Monday. 
service announcement and a public order and an arrest warrant. Public order slash arrest warrant 2020-12-3.1. Halting medical genocide and arrest warrant for anyone promoting false pandemics. I'm a man, I can go right away, I'm a one I just creep on a dance and I show how I sit like 
25 
bottle on an ounce bag. Got the cognac color on the inside. And the 4 all is coming with the big time. When your friend come, make sure she keep quiet. Or the next time I see her, I'll be seen. I'm 
Walk, talking like a boss, I just lift a hand. Three main cash, call me Rain Man. Money like a shower, that's my rain dance. And we all in black, like it's gangland. Say the wrong words, you be hangman. Why we stick to your bitch like a spray tan? Uh, Mr. What kind of car you in? In the city, love my name, nigga, I ain't gotta say. She can get a taste. taste, taste. She can get a taste. Taste, taste. Fuck what a nigga say. It's all the same like Mary Kate. She can get a taste. taste, taste. Let you get a taste. taste, taste. Do you love the taste? Yeah, that's cool, but he ain't like me. A lot of girls like me, niggas wanna fight me. Nigga, get your ass checked like a fucking Nike. Me, not icy, that's unlikely. That she gon' suck me like a fucking high seat. On chains on the neck for the whole team. And I feel like Gucci with the ice cream. And my bitch with the Fenty, not the Maybelline. I'm the black JB, the way these bitches scream. Make this bitch scream. Pretty little thing. Like my nigga A.E. Say, got out of that mean. She can get a taste. taste, taste. She can get a taste. Taste, taste. Fuck what a nigga say. It's all the same like Mary Kate. She can get a taste. taste, taste. Let you get a taste. Do you love the taste? Yeah, that's cool. All set. Yeah, I'ma put the drip on the plate. Drip, yeah, I'm an ice glaze. Niggas imitate. Ay, 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 big me grapes. Maybe with the drink. Slow pace in the rave. Got this shit from base. Diamonds at the bar. The kick it in hard. The robber said bar. I'm at it on bar. Shot my shells. We gon' always hit the dark. Popcorn, bitch. Shell popping at the car. Trip 34 on the north side. Drop bar. Hey, hey. Make her get on top of me and rob me like a heart. She wanna keep me company and never want to bar. Not the bar, yeah. Bitch tail in the parking lot. I don't make it with these niggas cause they talk about you. Yeah, and I got the fight, don't make me spark it at you. Yeah, keep it in my back pocket like it's a wallet. Like the way she suck it, suck it like a jolly. She took it up and put up with the whole project. Rats. She got that paddock on water, my nigga. She fucking rich in real life. I get that profit copy. Let you get a taste. Let you get a taste. Do you love the taste? Yeah, that's cool, but he ain't like me. LA, you can get a taste. Miami, you can get a taste. Oakland, you can get a taste. New York, do you love the taste? Shot Town, you can get a taste. Houston, you can get a taste. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rent or buy the latest hit movies on your go to app for videos. Find it all on YouTube. Hip hop music was once a small scene of street rappers and a handful of hardcore followers. New wave artists are hitting the music scene. Let me know we might just be testing every two, three days. 
um, if we mandate that these are essential workers, I won't say a moon man here with this discussion. It should be open. It should be 10 elected heads, not one. So I, I beg your pardon. Maybe I understood you or misunderstood you. And we talk, but I, you're right. We might have a different political view, a political will, and I ain't as naive with some of these political folks. I know them because good folks and good kind-hearted folks, they don't warn you, they don't give you the finger, they don't put out lying press release, they don't laugh when they see you. So everybody is interacting differently. But one thing is consistent, the state of emergency law, what it says, the chart of what it says, and I'm telling you, through you, Mr. Vice President, to Mr. Edwards. Are you there, Mr. Edwards? If I may, Mr. Vice President. Okay. Yes, I'm here, Mr. May. Mr. Mr. Edwards, yes. may I, Mr. Vice President? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Edwards, last time you were here, you said the mayor was meeting with a committee regularly on COVID. And I'm thinking, is that that blue no, ribbon no, committee? No, 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 sir. Let me, no, no, that, that, uh, I'm sorry. I need to correct you. Don't mean to interrupt. Okay, you said no. Is that blue ribbon committee still meeting with y'all? I am not, I am not fully aware. I'm sure that that committee, uh, provides the, uh, mayor with some insight about the things that are going on. So I would say that, that that's a possibility. They are still meeting, talking with the mayor, providing some insight. As, as I yeah, I know, before, I know. Let me let you finish. I just said, as I spoke to you about this issue before, they provided me some advice on some directional ways to go. Uh, strictly advice. Yes, yeah, that Blue Ribbon Committee was made up of Pastor Hawkins, um, even the lady from my senior center, all the different people, he on it. It's a multi-member body. It's illegal. The law says he said advise and communicate on these policies with the council. I knew the answer. I know when they last met. And I know who went and who didn't. So I'll just be listening to you, Mr. Edwards, but I wanted to circle back on that. I don't call it a Blue Ribbon Advisory Committee. The charter is clear. It's an illegal multi-member body. The mayor can't appoint board. The council do. I, so I, that's I, just me. I'm not going to try to argue with you. That's just I, my I, view. I, I understand, but, but, but Mr. May, I mean, like you say, we are speaking on record. So I need to get on record as part of the administration to say we totally oppose your interpretation of what constitutes uh, advising uh, members in the social task force uh, that supports uh, helping the mayor, giving him some insight to circumstances and situations. So that's all. I just want to be able to go on the record and say, I understand what your position, but you equally have to give us our fair share of understanding what our position is. And we oppose that statement that you're making. Okay, Ms. Through you, Madam, I mean, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Attorney Wheeler, could I request, um, this is Councilman Mays requesting a written legal opinion, whether the mayor can a, a appoint an advisory committee and the members, if the number it is, as this Blue Ribbon Committee, and or whether or not the charter specifically say and defines that an advisory committee under the charter is a multi-member body board. Now, do you need any clarification on that request for a written legal opinion? I mean, I, I might, but I, I know what I need to get started. So. If you, yeah, and if you need more clarification, call me or call Ms. Edwards. And then if the opinion, I don't agree with it, I'm going to look for outside legal opinion because I can read very well. And it's clearly defining in the charter that an advisory committee is a multi-member body under this charter. And it also tells you who appoints people to these multi-member bodies. And Ms. Edwards, you're going to be surprised. And I hope you apologize to me publicly when you find out that what you view and interpret and what I view and interpret, I'm a lawmaker, I'm a legislator. We'll see what an administrator and a legislator do. And I guarantee you, if me 
need the I get three legal opinions and pay for them because this is easy reading, just like the state of emergency ordinance. Easy read. It don't say you, Miss Edwards, come. It don't say Miss Willie. Say the mayor and the council. And it's happening not just in Flint, it's happening in Lansing, but it ain't happening in Flint because of the political will of the council and the political ill will of this mayor fooling a lot of grown folks, and I'm not going to have it. And then on the radio, talking about who got a dark heart. The only person that I want to judge my heart is God. God. I don't judge people's hearts. You can hear what they say, but I ain't going to dare judge nobody's heart. And I ain't going to go around spreading nothing about people's hearts. Because I come up in church, and I know what, what said. I'm seeking the Lord's faith. I, you tell one by the vice president, I appreciate the opportunity to communicate. I want y'all to be strong in a day, but I'll try to save lives and protect people during the pandemic. If it takes me six, seven, eight, nine bucks, I'm like a broken record, but I'll pass up everything I say by law. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 
Councilwoman Galloway. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Vice President. I just want to um, say thank you to you know, my colleagues. I know that this is um, the third meeting, um, but I, I just really want to thank you all for um, being committed. And, and I know sometimes we don't agree, but I, I'm really um, glad to be working with my colleagues. I, I learned a lot. I want to say thank you to the constituents that have voiced their concerns. I hope that the dialogue that happened here tonight um, from both sets of attorneys have um, helped in some way. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from hearing and I appreciate the attorneys that um, actually listened. I just wanted to share um, with the community that there is a um, food drive through food drive at Grace Emanuel. Um, on December the 12th, um, a, a food distribution from 10 to 12. This is um, social distancing. Mass required. Remain in your vehicle. Pull up in your vehicles and follow the direction of the attendant. Uh, we are asking everyone to remain in their car and food will be placed in your vehicle. And Grace Emanuel is located at 3502 Lapeer Road. <laughs> In Flint, Michigan, um, at the corner of Lapeer and April. Again, that is a Christmas drive through food giveaway, Saturday, September 12, 2020, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then also for those um, essential workers that work during April 1st to June 30th, you may qualify for the frontliners. Um, tuition help to the state of Michigan. And so if you work in an essential field during that time and you do not currently hold a associate or a bachelor's degree, you could qualify and so you'll want to go to the state of Michigan. The deadline for the, those funds is December 31st or I think when the funds are exhausted. Um, also, I want to say that um, Eastern has a similar program in which they are partnering with that. So um, if you have some questions, Google that. Again, it's the Frontliners um, grant from the state of Michigan, again, for essential workers. Please be safe, protect yourselves and your family, and um, I look forward to serving you guys on the 14th. Actually, the 8th for the mayor's um, state of the address. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Councilman Wimp. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Just want to say to you, uh, my colleagues and all that are listening, uh, this COVID thing is serious. There's an uptick. So let's let's be extra safe. Let's 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 be extra safe. I mean, these the hospitals around this country are being inundated now, or what I should say, for full and even in rooms are full and they're having to make makeshift. Uh, places to serve people that are sick with uh, COVID-19. The other thing I want to stress is that I really enjoyed this conversation listening to the various comments by my colleagues and the responses by the attorneys. And I, I think and I'm hopeful that our constituents across this city were able to really get some good information because I think some really good questions were were posed to the the attorneys. And again, just stay safe and uh, thank you a whole lot, uh, Mr. Vice President, for taking over. Bye bye. Thank you, Councilwoman uh, Councilwoman Carter. Councilwoman Wilfrey Carter, thank you, uh, Mr. Vice President. I would like to first um, um, thank my colleagues as well as the um, lawyers. I really um, enjoyed the, um, the meeting tonight. It was very informative. I, I think I'm, I, I think I am a little clearer now on on what's going on as far as the settlement. And um, I would also like to say to the fifth ward. Um, constituents 
please, if you have any issues or concerns, please call me on the city cell phone at area code 810-397-3621. If you have any further questions as far as the settlement, please do not hesitate to call me with any issues, concerns, or questions. Um, thank you, um, um, Mr. Vice President. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman May. Yeah, I want to make a referral about the 3400 block of Russell Street. I think it's ridiculous. Mattresses, beds, couches. I mean, we clean it up, but it's a way to do it. I know how to do it. I know how to get it done. I know how to put cameras there. I know how to keep it clean. I know how to use a front end load and get that stuff up. No street should have stuff in the street like that for that long. Now I'm wondering if it's political because it's the first ward and it's my street because we got the equipment to get stuff up. And so I'm asking that that 3400 block be cleaned up again immediately. It's two dumpsters there now, so I'm not tripping, but I'm just saying we got to do better in blight. And I want to have a real conversation publicly in a council meeting about blight. I ain't gonna even ask Mr. Edwards who over right now. Uh, we didn't hear all kind of stuff. But I'm gonna say this to the resident. I love to hear from the resident. But this was a recess meeting. So get ready for the next meeting. And I hope you tell your neighbors, your friends, I want y'all to call in. And I don't care if the council have to sit and listen to a hundred or two hundred folks. I want to get a good sample of what y'all heard about this stuff. I mean, I'm going to represent people the best I can. And I'm going to vote what I think is best for all people, even the least of them. In this settlement, the least of them is a whole lot of adults. And if you look at some of the percentages and numbers of the children, let's see if and when we get to spreadsheet I'm requesting for a reason. An objection ain't just an objection. It's an objection with details of how percentages and money should go. It's not a bad thing. You're trying to get through to a judge as a community. And so I hope they tell me what they think is their fair cut. Because without knowing the attorney fees and legal expenses, I can't even calculate what folks can get. This is easy arithmetic. Get into it. So my position is this. Uh, Y'all going to hear me at 62. Pray. You're going to hear me talk about God. You're going to hear me try to be honest. You're going to hear me try to tell the truth. And you're going to hear me get frustrated when I get all them calls that my, my council person won't answer their phone. I'll be honest your council person. How can I help you? And I'm sure maybe my council colleagues get calls from me. So, you know, this ain't no one person show. This is a team effort. We can only move by five. And Mr. Davis, you know, in some cases, I don't agree with you. We might not even have voted for the same presidential candidate, but I appreciate when you are wise enough to second an appeal. Ms. Galloway, Ms. Winfrey, I appreciate it. Mr. Winfrey, I appreciate your vote. I just don't see how the same people see the same thing the same way this many times and vote. That's why I be much trip. Maybe it's the culture just let's pray for one another and I'm gonna show that that the city pray for me. We are a resilient community, we are an intelligent community, and I think for the most part we are all honest people. God bless you, God keep you. Amen. The only thing I like to say is this. At this time, this community is going through a lot of hardships. And Lord knows I don't want to see nobody burden no more than what they've been burdening. Us. <sighs> if I just talk to go, all nine members, I see doing the best they can. We got different ways of getting there, but we get there. And everybody I can see, they care about their community and their decisions. But, uh, let me tell you, I heard some disheartening stuff today about this COVID-19. This is the dark winter and has not came. If you're looking for the end of December, January, and February to be the darkest where 
up to 200 to 300,000 people to die from it. Then the new vaccine, especially the second dose of it, it can cause from aches and pain all the way to death and side effects. So we got to prepare for something we've never been through before. Put your mask on, social distancing, and take your 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 uh, COVID-19 bill seriously. I don't care what age you are. Please, the, the, this is going to be the worst it has ever been. Not even yet. They say the end of December, January, and February, get ready. Buy these bags and everything in order. Be careful. People are dropping dead. Like uh, Thompson said earlier, the hospitals at capacity. I've been in there. No visitors. It's scary in there. It's very scary in there. So if you got an opportunity,
they hoping that EPA, they glad EPA didn't come in on the deal. You know why? Because they get 33 and a third on this settlement. And then when EPA uh, settled, they might get another 33 and a third. They got some big paydays coming, man. They got some big paydays coming. Listen, man. I'm telling you. Y'all think I'm joking. And that Kate Fields and Eva Worthing, Eva Worthing is a racist. Kate Fields is an extreme racist. So, Keith, check this out, right? You say, how can the city ask the insurer for a certain amount of money? They just did. They went and asked them for twenty million dollars. That's 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 that you. That's my point. How can the city ask the, their insurer for a certain amount of money when they have no clue of the de- damages? Right, and that was the question. And what the lawyer said was, they normally don't do it like that. They normally go to the insurer with a settlement up front and tell the insurer this is what we have to pay. They went to the insurer without. A, you know, with this uh, proposal and said, hey, you know what? We can pay 20 million and be out of it, all right? Let's give us 20 million. Say that you're going to give us 20 million and we're going to put that up, uh, you know, up there. Rewind after I get off of here, rewind it and you'll hear it for yourself. I think it was when Kate Fields asked the question. I think it was when Kate Fields asked and they answered that. And you got to hear it. They said this, and they said the city. What she said? What if? This, what if uh, uh, they don't want to pay it? He said the city can sue the insurance company, and it's more litigation. And she was like, "Oh, we already in too much litigation as it is." But they can turn it down, and we can wait until the people sue, and then we go to the insurance company. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Why, look, look, they, why aren't they asking, like, like Chris say, how much is the insurance policy? How much do they pay up to? How much do they pay up to? I'm serious, man. They, I mean, they're not telling us anything. Let me on there to ask questions. That's, let me on there. I got some questions for the ass. For real. I'm, I'm serious. Hey, I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, this 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 settlement, we, we, we turn around and settle like Angela said, right? Oh, if, if, if we can get all if we can get all these sleeping, sleeping Wonderland people in this settlement right now, we don't have to. That's less people we have to worry about down the road. She said that. <laughs> Go back and listen to the video. She said when Winfrey Carter acts, right? When Winfrey Carter asked, the question was, uh, hold on. Hold on. Winfrey Carter asked, uh, the question was, if we can, if, if, if we can still sue, how does the settlement protect the city from future litigation? That was, that was the question. That was the question. And she came back and said, by all the people coming in right now on the settlement, these lost souls won't be able to sue us down the road. And that's less people that we have to litigate against. I'm wait. People can do what they want to do. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. But I'm waiting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get money for my aunt. My cousin, the people here in the city of Flint, man. <clears throat> I'm waiting because they know or they think or they feel the people here in the city of Flint is hungry. We thirsty. You want your funky $600 that you have to pay back in taxes. By the time you get done, you'll probably have $300. And then y'all didn't hear what 
Eric said, right? You spending all this money right now to take care of your kid that they poison. You in the hole right now. You in the hole right now for your kids right now. They're going to put this in a trust fund while you spending all your money. The kid to take care of your kid is in a trust fund. So those parents who are heavily burdened by what the state did should be getting money for their kids and mental anguish for what they're going through. But guess what, y'all? Guess what? You ain't gonna even get that. You ain't gonna get it. That's, 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 that's what they call PTSD. That's what they call pain and suffering. They made it sound like all you have to do is just put in a piece of paper and you're good. That bull crap. And they're gonna make it hard for you to for your kids to get any money. Guess what? They're gonna have this doctor, that doctor has to sign, this doctor has to sign on the IEP, this doctor has to sign on the IEP, this social worker has to sign on the kid's IEP, and then this kid gotta go through counseling for six months and da 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 they're gonna make it hard as hell for you to get anything. I'm just telling you the truth. Doctors, look, Dr. Mona didn't even want to help in the beginning. Not alone help now. She testifying for the state. Mark Edwards testifying for the state. Jim Anony, hurry up and rush this $600 million through. Sheldon Neely, hurry up and give them $20 million. All of them working against you. All of them working against you. And, and, and you know what? When somebody speak up, uh, he don't know what he's talking about. Uh, this and that and that and this. I wish y'all could be on communication meetings with me, man. I wish y'all could just be in these meetings and listen. What I say to you here, I say in these meetings, man. Just like today in the communication meetings. I told him. I said, why are you all waiting to do a cancer cluster study and a biomonitoring when they're doing a settlement? We don't know what the water caused us. Y'all only talk about the lead. You don't talk about all the other stuff that was included in this water. But you want to settle on something? The registry isn't built for the things that we want done. The registry isn't built for that. She been sitting back, man, all this time, man. Just write us, let us know. Write us, let us know. Knowing good and damn well that the registry should be out here, man, looking for people and trying to find out what illnesses did this water cause. But you know what? What the eyes don't see, huh? That's the name of her book, and that's showed up true. But the eyes don't see. I don't. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing. And I don't care who gets mad at me talking about Dr. Mona. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all think I'm joking, man. We are being bamboozled. Hoodwink, sold out, all the whole nine. This settlement is not good for us. And I don't care how mad Corey Stern get. Corey Stern can kiss my ass. That's the one that that uh got mad at Maurice De- I mean at Eric Mays, at Councilman Mays. He's a high head. That's I'm telling y'all, man. He let me put it to y'all like this, man. And this is why I got mad. And I'm getting ready to tell y'all this. It was some things going down. Tide flood, right? And at the beginning when uh, Dana Nessel has switched over, right? I told somebody that... Uh, 
some things was going down and, 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 and you know, people need to uh, talk to this, these other people, right? His client went back and told, well, his client told him, he went back and told Ty Flood. They all working together, man. They all was working together. And, 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 and you know what, man? I don't, I don't, I don't. Dude, 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 dude can say whatever he want to with me. Because I, I, I really don't give a damn about it. For real. All these people, all these lawyers are here for themselves, man. They're going to take their money back to New York and say, we got them fools right there. That was an easy lick right there. They, 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 they don't know nothing. They selling each other out down there. Uh, this was the easiest lawsuit I ever had right here. This is an easy payday. This is an easy payday for us. We didn't even have to fight. They thirsty, they hungry. They'll settle for anything. Let them fight each other over the crumbs. Let them fight each other over 50 damn dollars. Man, skip y'all. That's what I think about them lawyers, man. Giving out their addresses. I don't believe in class action lawsuits anyway. For real. But here's the question. Here's the damn question right here. And they didn't ask, they asked the question, but they wouldn't ask the question with follow ups, right? Who are the Flint residents that told them to go through with the settlement? Who spoke for me without speaking to me about this settlement? Huh? Here we go again. And let me tell y'all, these same individuals, these same individuals were the same individuals talking mess about the concerned pastors about when they went and did the settlement without coming and talking to us. You hypocrites. You damn You talk mess about the cons- who are these people, y'all? I'm gonna I'm gonna lead off. I'm gonna lead off. We gotta start asking who are these people. Melissa Mays is one. I know for certain she's one. This is the second time she just spoke for us and didn't ask us. Can she speak for us? And then what tops the cake, y'all? What tops the cake? What 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 really tops the cake? And this is why you gotta watch them, y'all. This is why you got to watch it. She stood at a press conference with us and said it's a slap in the face. What in the hell? Hey, uh, hey, hey, how in the hell can she approve? How in the hell can she? Oh, yes, the settlement is great. And then come out here with us. Hey, hey, y'all, uh, they screwing us over. And we fall for it. She all on the news. She all on the news. The, hey, look. What makes it so bad, right? She didn't agree to the settlement. And then she's standing there with us. And all the media running to her. And she, oh, yeah, it's a slap in the face and da da What? What type of peanut butter and jelly mess is that? Huh? She can't lie to me because somebody told me that's that's inside that she was one of them. <laughs> what type of peanut butter jelly mess is that, y'all? We fall for anything. We fall for anything, man. We 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 just sit back and let people uh 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 uh, uh we just sit back. And let people just just do us bad, man. Here in Flint, we just we just okay. Oh, 
okay. And then you fight with the people that's in these meetings. Uh, you fight with people that, that's in the meetings that's trying to come out here and tell you the truth about how you getting shafted. You, you, you fight with them. You fight with me. I, I mean, I'm up in these meetings like the EPA. EPA getting ready to come out with something soon. Right? They getting ready to come out. I got emails. I'm on the phone with them. Hey, how is it that a judge have to do your job? How is it that EPA and Eagle, the judge, have to do your job by forcing the mayor to bring a plan to court on November the 9th? The same thing that happened to get us in this mess, y'all allowing it to happen right now. I talked to them last week, right? They said, oh, we got an a, 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 a announcement coming out. And uh, uh, we can't tell you what it is, but we got an announcement coming out. Now, all of a sudden, Neely comes on his uh, radio show on Saturday. Oh, EPA and uh, Eagle got an announcement coming out. <laughs> yeah, Eagle had to come in here and help you get the samples, man. You got to restructure the, the, the water department, man. Because you wasn't doing your job. And then y'all listen to this, right? Listen to this. Listen to this, right? Here's the trip down part. You mad at me. But from day one, this was my main issue. EPA, Eagle, and the judge saw this as a serious problem. Now, you're going to talk bad about me, but what do you have to say about Ego and EPA and the judge forcing him to do what I have been asking him to do all year long? What are you going to say because I've been asking him to do it before he even got in office? I was with him from November to the deadline of getting those samples. He didn't get it, so I started holding him accountable. That's what you're supposed to do. This wasn't anything personal. This was for the safety of the people here in the city of Flint so that it will not happen again. But everybody wants to fight with art. Because I'm looking out for the safety of the people here in the city of Flint. If it wasn't important, EPA, Eagle, and the judge wouldn't have commented and wouldn't have forced him to do anything. But see, y'all so gullible, man. Oh, he's black. Don't fight him. He's black. Just let him go on about his business. Uh, just let him finish out his term. He's a black man. He's a Democrat. I don't give a rat's ass if he's a Democrat, Republican, black, white, pink, blue. Our safety is more than me. I know there are a lot of different metamorphoses. All that other stuff. And that's why I think he's going to eat everything. Yeah. That's chicken. Keep that away from him. I don't want it. That's why our kids have to eat ramen noodles and they be hungry. That's why we have to wait until they can go to school to eat. That's why we don't have a nice, dependable car. That's why we can't go on vacation. That's why we don't have jobs. That's why our kids are sitting up in the house smoking blunts and playing PlayStation and running. Trying to make ends meet. All this is by design. All this is by design. We sit on our asses and wait for somebody to come save us instead of us saving ourselves. We depend on uh, 501c3s. We depend on uh, prayer, thinking that God is going to come down here in the middle of the field and do it for us when he gives us the resources for us to do it ourselves. 
We, we, we so accustomed okay. to run into the altar. God, please yeah, handle this going for going me instead of knowing that God is giving me the resources to handle it myself. Start your EVA anytime you're ready. Remember that you have plenty of time. You have been groomed. You have been put in position. Roger. To depend on the mass, the mass of being black or white. Really, the mass is white, and the 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 gatekeeper is the house Negro, and you are the plantation Negro. I mean, maybe that's the only way that you can understand what I'm saying. Cape Cod of Hawaii. This is Flight Control. Come in, please. Hawaii. Roger. Hawaii. He gives that gate key for a couple of dollars. There was an unidentified object closing on the fast from a certain gate. Going through that gate. Hawaii from Cape Cod. We have nothing here. You have to stay in the position that you're in. Because it's just millions and millions of dollars that come into the city. That they get for free off of your sweat and tears. And you ain't gonna say it now. Here's to be coming up fast from a stern. When are you gonna say, man? You know what? I'm gonna make a stand up. I'm gonna make take a stand. I'm gonna make, make this happen. I'm getting ready, man. We get ready, man. We get ready to stand up. Quit allowing these people, man, to scare you. A crumb. That's what they do. Oh, the city gonna go bankrupt. Oh, the Detroit went bankrupt. Where they at? Matter of fact, Detroit went bankrupt. They got to sit on Responsibility. Honestly, the Soviet government denies all you might be mad because I'm saying, but I'm just telling you how I feel. I hereby give notice that y'all sat there knowing this water was fucked up. Excuse my My government has instructed me to inform my father that any interference with this spaceship will be regarded as But y'all sat there and knew this water was no good. And y'all said no. But now you want to say, hey, y'all, we can't sue the city. We're going to go bankrupt. We won't have our pension. I don't give a damn. You didn't give a damn, man. My aunt dead. My cousin dead. My friend dead. You didn't give a damn then. A tracking so why should I care? Faint echoes of this craft coming down in the sea of Japan. Why should I care? Huh? But this if you really want to know the God honest truth. And then over half of them don't even live in Flint. Show you that this is what we propose to do. Rob Benzik wouldn't even hire any blacks down there. On it now. Huh? You think I give a damn? Yo, miss me with that. Miss me with that. Y'all, yeah, you look. Y'all can, y'all can care about all the girls. You think we? I tell y'all what. Y'all get a million dollars. Y'all can move anywhere in the United States. Russian caviar. Y'all can move anywhere in the United States. Now, how about that? How about that? Lovely. Get a million dollars. Hey, y'all can move to Atlanta, Florida, Miami, retire. Hey, put some of your money up. Big stop. You know what I'm saying? Let the money take come. So now your kids and your son. How about that? Man, they're gonna miss you. I care less. You didn't give a damn about me and my family and my friends and nobody else while you was down there 
laughing and chucking and jiving. You, Rob Busy, and all the rest of them. Dottie Johnson, Howard Cross, Mike Brown, Ed Kurtz, Darnell Early, what's little little Gremlin, uh, Gerald, uh, Gerald Ambrose. None of y'all care, did? All of them for Flint. Did none of them care? But now all of a sudden, you want us to care about you. Tell the dealer, you didn't care. Jim Anime, you didn't care. Mona T, you didn't care. At that time, none of them cared. None of them. Now all of a sudden, you want us to care about y'all? You want us to care? Man, I don't give a damn about y'all. For real. Competition. Blood suckers. Rich. Oh, dang. And I'm going to tell everybody else that I can reach, that I can defend. Hey, don't give a damn about them because they didn't give a damn about you. And Sheldon Neely is giving away the city any damn way. He didn't get away. Damn near 12 streets downtown for nothing. Downtown. They gave it away. They give it away anyway. We might as well go and get our cut. We might as well get our cut while they give it away. And then the money is going straight to all the programs. Guess what? Right downtown. It's going right downtown. GISD in nine million. I just put the article up. Let me go and read out GIC, they said it's unfair and it it's illegal, but they get nine million dollars of this. I can't even see that. Either. I know he's a stranger. Everybody else wants to see. Still sitting here looking like fools. Still sitting here looking like fools. We sitting here listening to him lie. I counsel people who don't comprehend shit. Still don't understand what I'm talking about. My father. My father. For real. My father, I ain't being cussed. Hey, listen, y'all. white and uh, I, I got it I got it I got it
I'm going tomorrow and get a crumb stature. Uh, he gonna be like this, right? Pulling out crumbs or something, right? And I'm gonna have the, the crumb snatcher of the week award. All right, check it out. You had it. We good. We good. So. Crumb snatcher of the week. Melissa Mays right, got the I first one, and then I'm gonna get other people group. I'm gonna get other group. Uh, 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 the crumb snatcher of the week. Uh, I gotta find out who they are first. I, I, it, it, it's kind of hard, difficult. <laughs> I'm going to find out. But, uh, all right, I ain't going to take too much more of your time. It's 1030. Y'all uh, uh, y'all have a great Request night. permission to come aboard, sir. Permission to It's Friday, T-E-I-L. Bless. Uh, take this officer on. Bless. Uh, okay, sir. Night. Think on it. Dream about it. But I need 250 people. Take her up tonight. We can get we'll get call call night. All right. All right. He's out. Hello, Penny. You better go right in. You're late as usual, even from your own funeral. Well, we corpses have absolutely no sense of time. In you go, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, sit down, number seven. Thank you, sir. No ill effects. None at all, sir. Well, now that you're dead, perhaps some of your old friends will pay a little less attention to you for a while. Give you more elbow room. You'll need it, too. This is the big one, 007. That's why I'm out here myself. I take it you're fully briefed. Oh, yes, sir. But uh, there's one thing I don't understand. If our Singapore tracking station is correct about the rocket not landing in Russia, then where did it land? We assume it's Japan. Mind you, all this is pure guesswork. But the PM wants us to play it with everything we've got. And the aerial reconnaissance? Every inch photographed. Nothing. Are well, the Japanese equipped to launch such a rocket? We don't think so. And who else is? That's what you've got to find out, and fast. Before the real shooting starts, this damn thing could blow up into a full-scale war. When you get to Tokyo, go to that name and address. Our man Henderson will contact you there. Henderson? Captain here, sir. We're underway. Pull ahead. Right. Well, that's all. Thank you, sir. 007. Sir? We've only three weeks before the Americans launch the next one. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir. And my sources tell me the Russians are planning one even earlier than that. So move fast, 007. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, how was the girl? Which girl? Uh, the Chinese one we fixed you up with. Oh, another five minutes that I found out. Mm. She'll never know what she missed. Miss Money Penny, give 007 the password we've agreed with Japanese SIS. Yes, sir. We tried to think of something that you wouldn't forget. Yes. I love you. Repeat it, please, to make sure you get it. Don't worry. I get it. <laughs> 